tea today? Winchester? Yeah. Yeah. Do you like him? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's over there. Okay. Do you hear him? Yeah. He's calling for you. He wants his milk. Oh, and Chicken wants to say hi. Do you guys think that we have like some scrap food for you or something today? Huh? What? Hmm? What's going on, Roost? What? Hmm? What's going on? So the other day I took time to um, take all the weeds out of my flower bed or my garden raised bed and um, I labeled, you can't tell because there's wood over there, but I labeled each section and each row. So I have double rows of each thing that I planted. I have corn, peas, hot peppers, cilantro, um, carrots, green beans, I think. I have to water it today. Um, the reason why I have the wood in there is just to kind of divide the sections, but I'll probably end up taking that out. Um, it's just a smaller raised bed, so I don't really feel like I need to put some, you know, sectioning uh, string up to know where my rows are it will be pretty noticeable when it starts coming in so this year i did stuff a little different than last year and then this is our other one that usually my husband does so he just has to till it one more time and then we can start planting in there so that's been our little project and then um we're still trying to add on to our chicken coop because we need to have places to put the chicken food and then um, like uh, another roaming area for some of our chickens because of uh, how many chickens we have we need to kind of divide things up this area right here is all kind of staked out for us to have the goats for them to be able to play and stuff um, and then we have the fencing that we need to continue to uh, put up so that's kind of our projects lately um, So then we'll get done when we can but right now we just got to get these goats fed Last night they stayed in the in the coop so we're trying to update that too for them to be in uh, We have chickens and stuff in there ducks in there and uh, it's pretty spacious for them to be able to be in so these the one the There we go. No, that's Okay. Got it? All right. Oh, jeez. That was a big pie. They're thirsty. This is how they get in the morning when they when they're hungry, so and then I have their grain, I have their grain in here. So they'll get some grain and we already have hay in there and their water's already in there. So they'll hang out over here until we get that other like area fenced in for them to be able to play in and to have more grass to roam in. So that's what we're working on right now. Winchester always makes these little noises. And they're really friendly too. Like I can, you know, pet them and stuff too when they're eating. Our goats are not aggressive at all. The only thing that Winchester likes to do is um, like, uh, well, yeah, climb, but like eat hair. So he'll go up behind Evelyn and start uh, nibbling on her hair and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, Opal, what was that all about? Huh? 
Are you sure he's done? Yeah. How about we try it one more time? Mm -hmm. You want some more? No, he's done. Oh, Opa wants some more. Opa, why are you making such funny noises? Huh? And, and when Tesco, when I feed him, he wiggles his tail. Yeah. Good. No, not yet. You done? I think he's done. Or she's done. You want to try it again? No, you got to lift it up. No, there's no more in there. He sinks. He okay. always sinks. Like those mouth, mouth yeah. Let them play for a little bit. <laughs> oh, come on. Want to play for a little bit? They love this hill. They're goofy on it. So these are the chickens that we hatched. If you guys want, check out that other video and you can see how we hatched um, the chickens. And then our duck surprise video is with that one. This is all the ones that we hatched. Um, and then our broiler chickens and turkeys are somewhere else. We wanted to separate them just because we're feeding them different. And then we have some of the ones that we hatched over here and our ducks. So we have five. You'll hear I'm making some noises in here. Yeah. yeah. So we got five ducks in here right now, and then we have three grown ones that are in our yard that kind of just um, kind of free range right now. These guys are uh, only maybe a month or two, maybe even two months or so. So we don't really let these guys roam yet. I mean, they have access to like this area right here, but that's about it. We and don't want one, them running off. One is waffle, one's puns. One is minty, one is uh, dark, and one is paley. Yeah. It's all the names. I know. The white ones are really big and pretty, but um, some of the other ones are really pretty, too. Hey, guys. Yeah. Hi, Dan. Yeah. Hi, Dan. This is Dan. That's Dan? It's Hudson's. Yeah. <laughs> So they'll stay in here for shade. They're just pretty nosy right now because they don't always like people. And then we got a really pretty black and white one. The black and white one is ours, right? Yes. The ones that we, the one we hatched. Oh, so this no. one. That was, that's the one what we, what we got. Which one is the one that we hatched? Was it this one? Oh, yeah, Peely. Peely yeah, I told one. you. Yeah. The black and white one is our is our duck that we um, hatch from our eggs that we get from our ducks. So, And the other ones are the ones that we ordered. So we ordered this little guy. He has a little blue. Yeah? Mine. Yeah. That's pretty cool, huh? Yeah, don't let him out. Oh, we got some chickens on the loose. Okay. Get. We have chickens on the loose, yeah. Oh, uh -oh. it's still sunny. And no, they're in the woods. Oh. I have a way to get over there and take them out. Okay, so some of our chickens just got loose. So we got to try to round them up. Yeah, 
kind of funny. What? There's what? Oh, three more. Here we go. Oh, yeah. Now I gotta try to get him in here. Come on. Come on, little guy. Come on, little guy. Good job. Yeah, we got him in. Got him in. Gotta get some more in. Okay, those one. Those oh, one I didn't even see. Come on in. Okay. All right. Two more? Okay, come on. William, you can do it. Yeah, you can do it, Lachlan. <laughs> come on. There you go. They all look the same, don't they? All right, well, we got that one in there. You want to get in there, Opals? Opals, you want to go in there? No? Okay, here he is. Here he comes. Where are you going, guy? Hey. You're a good chicken rounder upper. All right. Well, you can't stick your head in there, guy. Good job. That's it. Awesome. Okay. So, hopefully you guys like these kind of style videos, too. I know I do a lot of, like, odds and ends kind of videos, too. But... This is kind of part of our life is odds and ends, I guess. We have a lot going on. We have a lot of different things that we're interested in. Um, pretty soon the boys will be back at 4-H, so we'll be doing more rocket stuff. Um, we're just kind of doing a lot more Zoom calls with that kind of thing. We still got things going on with Evelyn and her finger that we're still trying to deal with. Um, we got, you know, the goats, the chickens, and the turkeys, and the meat-eating chickens, and our little gardens, and we got a lot going on, so it's pretty busy. So I will try to, um, if I could, and I would, upload videos like almost every day just to share with you guys all the things that we go through. Um, but by the time I get it edited and out for you guys, it's kind of complicated. So I'm trying to do my best with that. I know my air fryer videos for sure will be Fridays and every other Friday. So that I'm okay with. That is going good. Hopefully you guys are liking some of the stuff that I'm putting on there. Um, and I do want to do more family stuff just because this is how we live and our lifestyle. And it's just crazy. And right now we took a little break from homeschooling just because it is summer. But we will, one thing, settle down a little bit more with um, things that are going on in the world and all that crazy stuff. We'll start doing a little bit more school. Um, I recently just got um, a lot of activity books for the kids to work on. So we'll be doing that kind of stuff. I have some updating to do for Gage and his schooling. Um, and make sure that he's up to date because he is just got done with freshman year and he'll be turning 15. So we'll be doing the whole licensing and getting, um, him signed up for license. We were just talking about it yesterday on how he has to maybe be able to take the class online, which would be so much better than bringing him to the class. So we're hoping we can do that. And then he wants to get a job soon too. So He'll be, um, you know, he's getting older, a new chapter in Gage's life. So kind of exciting. Um, but every day in the morning, this is pretty much our routine is chores. You know, get done with breakfast and chores. And now we have the goat. So that really gets us outside more than we have been ever. Um, especially me because I like being outside. But there's not much for me to do out here. I have so much stuff to do in the house, um, but with the goats, it kind of gets me outside and hang out with these guys and um, have fun that way. So hopefully you guys like today's video. Don't forget to subscribe so you guys don't miss out on my videos. Um, also, I don't know if a lot of you guys know that there's like a little bell button that you guys can hit and then it, you can select if you wanna um, get notified with all my videos and then it'll just um, pop up when on your phone when I make a new video. So go ahead and do that. Um, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up because that like 
lets YouTube know that you guys are enjoying my videos and that helps my channel also with getting out there and um, having other people see my videos and share my videos with maybe some family and friends that have like goats or you know maybe have some homeschooling questions that maybe I can help answer i know that a lot of you guys are kind of pushed into it this year with the whole uh coronavirus and a lot i know some people right now that are choosing to um take their kids out of school now and just homeschool so um or they're afraid with the following year coming up that um school might not be like it was so if you have any questions on that i can help you with um, as much as I can with homeschool. I've been doing it for 14 years now. So I have a little bit of a knowledge on things that you can do that might help out and settle your mind on um, not being so overwhelmed with it. So I can help you with that. What are you guys doing here? I'll turn you guys around. Careful. Yeah. We put this toy over here hoping that the goats will. Is it hot? Oh, yeah. You got to go up the other way. Kind of got to go up the other way, Evelyn. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You got to go the other way where Lachlan just went. He went on the side over there. Right here. You gotta come around. Come here. There you go. Can you do it? I know there's a big ball in the way. There. Now see if you can get up there. Come on, Evelyn. You can do it. Put your next foot up. Oh. You're okay. Come on. All right, come on. Up, up, up. Get your foot in there. Oh, there we go. Okay, watch out for Evelyn though, so she can go down the slide. Whee! Was that fun? Yeah, you just gotta learn how to get up there by yourself. Maybe Lachlan can help you. Oh, that's harder. That's harder to do it that way. Come on. Yeah, you gotta go over here. You gotta go where the stairs are. They're a little weird. Okay, come on. One more time. There we go. Get your foot up. Oh, perfect. Look at you. You did it. Awesome. Hi. Hi. Can you come down? Okay. We. Can you say we? You gotta say we. We. Now say wee. There you go. Good. Yep. That's pretty crazy. Boys versus girls. Yeah, I know. That ball is too big, isn't it? Yeah, Papa said too big. Yeah. Can you do it by yourself? Okay. Do you guys want to say bye? Say bye, everybody. Bye, everybody. Evelyn, don't you want to say bye? Go say bye to everybody. Bye. <laughs> okay, so I will see you guys in the next one.